Hello? Hello. Hi, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> um, so, um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rocio Valdivia. <laughs> um, thank you very much. So, thank you for coming. Um, I'm coming from Spain for Body Camp. So it's a pleasure for me to be here. I'm from Osuna. If you are a fan of Game of Thrones, it's the kingdom of Migraine. So I'm proud of it. I'm a fan, so I like to say it. So I'm coming to talk. To, um, I'm web developer. I work in automatic in the community team, but I've been a body press developer for the last seven years. Um, well, it's a pleasure for me to be here, and I want to talk a little bit about how to contribute to BodyPress, because BodyPress is a small family, and everyone is welcome to help, and everybody is welcome to contribute to the project. So, how many of you have used BodyPress? Awesome. How many of you have worked with BodyPress, like in a project, job? Cool. And how many of you have contributed to BodyPress, to the BodyPress project? Awesome, I love it. So only two. That means that I can, after this talk, maybe a few of you will, you know, will know how to contribute if you don't know how to. And I can give you some, of the, some ideas about how to do it, you know, in, and to enjoy doing something that you, that you like and helping to the project. So, the first thing is how to, get in, how to get involved. So the first step that I will tell you to do is go to Slack. If you, how, many of, how, how many of you have a user on the WordPress Slack? Okay, cool. Okay, so the ones that you don't, that you, you know, that you don't know what is Slack, Slack is like, you know, this platform like for chatting. All the global WordPress community is joined there. And it's full of channels. You have something like 60, maybe more? Yeah, maybe I mean 60. So um, you, have you can find channels for like nearly everything about plugins, about uh, core, about tra translations. And you have some channels for BodyPress. And in, in those channels, you can find all the BodyPress people. You know, all the people that is getting involved with BodyPress or interested in BodyPress. And, is working with BodyPress and you know, and you can interact with them, chatting with them every day is very nice people. We are very nice people <laughs> and everybody's welcome. So, you know, these are the four channels that you can join. The one when, where you can just chat with the people of BodyPress, the BodyPress team is the first one, the BodyPress channel. So if you are interested in helping and contribute to BodyPress, join a Slack join that channel and just say hello to the people and I'm sure you will get a very warm welcome. So that's the first step. But what can you do? So if you're interested about the development of BodyPress, every Wednesday at 20 UTC time, um, that is a chat, you know, the dev of uh, the chat of developers and you can join and you can give your opinion and you can give your feedback about the future of the features of BodyPress. And the same day, two hours later, you have the chat of the developers uh, who are working in the BodyPress REST API. So in case, in case you're not on Slack, this is the URL when you can register. If you have a user, um, if you have already a user on WordPress.org, you know, it's an automatic process. So just go there you know, and register on Slack. So how to contribute? How to contribute to BodyPress? So there are a lot of ways of contributing to BodyPress. You don't need to be a developer. You don't need to be an expert of BodyPress. If you have used, if you, if you use or have used BodyPress, you can help. Everybody can help. There are a lot of ways I'm going to, you know, have a look at some of them, okay? So, Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry. 
So, okay, let's have a look at some of them, okay? How you can contribute, whatever is your level. If you're a designer, if you're a developer, if you're just a blogger, is you, if you're just a new user of BuddyPress, you can help to the project. And everybody's welcome. So, uh, if you go to codex.bodypress.org, dash participate, this URL, you can see a list of all the things that you can do to help with the project. And one of the first ones is documentation. You know, we need people to create just pages, you know, like user guides for normal people that are starting with BodyPress and they don't know maybe how to, I don't know, how to create custom fields or, you know, pages like that. So just if you have used BodyPress and you know how to, I don't know, how to manage the signings or how to manage the front end of the profile. If you know how to do something, you're perfect to do one of those pages. So if you're interested in doing it, you can go to Slack, as I told you before at the beginning, and you can say to the people, hey, I'm interested in contributing. I would love to do some documentation. And you're going to get access to the codex, and you can start writing your first page in the codex. So it's so easy. So this is an example of one of the pages of the user guides that you can find in the codex. So this is like user extended profiles. You have some sections, some screenshots, and just describing you know, some of the functionalities of this page. Another way of contributing to BodyPress is to share your knowledge. Maybe you think that you don't know enough, but everybody thinks that you don't know enough. <laughs> I think that's something that all of us, you know, we always feel. So the thing is that you always know more than other person. And if you can share that knowledge with that person and sharing and um, answering some questions in the forums, if you know an answer, that's another way of contributing to the project, helping other people to grow and helping other people to, you know, to fix problems or whatever. So you can, you can go to bodypress.org, you can, you know, just register. You, I think you only need your, you only need your WordPress.org username to log in, and and you can just answer questions in the forums, and that's another way of helping the project to grow. If you speak Spanish or if you speak other languages, you have other forums as well. This is not very common. I know that a lot of people here maybe don't know it. But in the Spanish, uh, in WordPress.org, we have a, um, like our own Spanish forums, okay? And we have a forum just for BodyPress, and it's full of people. It's very, it's very active indeed, um, normally, yeah. And well, so this is a URL, and there is a, I'm sure that there is a, a lot of other forums in other languages that they have their own BodyPress section in their forums in the support forums. So another, another way to keep updated about how, how things are going with the BodyPress project, and if you're a developer, for example, and you would like to help with some new features and et cetera, you know, a good way to know, you know, then how the next, what, which are the next steps of the development of the project is to go to the vpdevil.wordpress.com, which is a blog of with all the updates of the BodyPress core team, and you have at least you have one post every week or two weeks. So every time that there is a chat, a dev chat in on Slack, they post a uh, summary, you know, with all the points they have been talking, and you can get so much information about how the project is going, what is done, what is not, uh, you know, what, it, what they're working on, and it's a very valuable information there. And it's good to see that it's so active, because there is more and more people working in the last year in BodyPress. So another way, if you're interested on getting experience because a lot of people think, I'm too busy, I'm working, I, you know, I have my projects, I don't have time for contributing. Okay, it's true, I have been in that situation a lot of times as well. But the thing is that the more you contribute, the more experience you get, you know, and you learn. 
and you're specialized and you focus on a problem and you get a lot of experience and you learn a lot of things about one specific module or one specific component of BodyPress. So if you want to learn, it's a great way of having the best experts giving you feedback about what you're doing. So there is in the track, this is the track of BodyPress, so you can find it on track.bodypress.org, if I'm not wrong. And you can see that there is some tickets, you know, like they're uh, normal bag, normally they're bugs um, or, you know, things to, to improve or small announcements, etc. So you can find a tag of tickets to, that is for beginners. So as you can see there in keywords, you can see good first bag. So if you have never contributed on BodyPress and you would like to start, and with easy things, I recommend you to go to the track to look for that key keyword, good first bag, and to start doing a simple thing, a simple and um, you know, easy contribution, and it's a great way to get familiar with you know, good practices, coding, and etc. Okay, so in the track, you have a lot of, you can do a lot of stuff. You can report bugs, that's one of the things that are, they're really useful for the developers, you know, when they are, for example, in beta uh, versions. You can, you can just open a ticket for announcements. So if you're looking for something, if, you, if you're working in a project and you miss something in BodyPress, you can go to the track, create a ticket, and to say, hey, I would love to see this because of that, and just create it. And maybe you can work on it, or you can find people that would love to, they think that this is a good you know, functionality for your for body press. So I encourage you to give that feedback, to open those tickets on the track, giving those ideas and announcements, um, reporting bugs, and etc. And every idea, you know, is welcome. There is no crazy ideas. And body press started with a crazy idea, so I look at it now, so it's growing more than ever. So another way of contributing the body press is translating body press. So it's, if you speak more than one language, I'm I'm body press translator since 2009, I think. So if you body press, uh, if you speak more than one language, you're welcome to contribute to to like this. So you can find or you can translate body press on globpress.wordpress.org, if I'm not wrong with the URL. Um, this is the status of the uh, translation of body press into Spanish yesterday. So, yeah, we are in the 96%. We have some work to do. So if you speak Spanish, you're welcome to help us. And it's very easy, okay? You, you just need, you know, you, with your WordPress.org. Um, if you have never translated, I, you can come to me today and I will, help, I, I will show you how to do it. It's just a two minutes tutorial or one minute tutorial. It's very easy. It's just go to the streams that are not translated and translate it and it's very easy and funny. I enjoy doing this because sometimes you cannot spend maybe because of your job, you cannot spend like one day, two, even two hours a week for sometimes it's too much. You don't have the time, you're busy. But sometimes doing things like answering questions on the forums or translation, translating a little bit of some strings is something that sometimes you can do in your free time. You just spend like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you're contributing to the project, you're doing something that feel, makes you feel awesome, and you just put it 20 minutes there, you know? And you can come back in two weeks and put in your little bit of you in the project, which is awesome. It makes you feel great, yep. So yeah, in translate.wordpress.org, you can find you know, um, all the plugins and et cetera, and body best to translate it. Or become a better tester. That is easy. It's, you only need to install the beta version of a new release. And this is Imath. This, this, was, this happened on a Slack a few days ago when I was talking with the team saying, hey, do you have ideas? I'm going to talk about how to get involved with BodyPress. And everybody was giving me ideas. Yes, talk about this, talk about that. And Imath, he's a French, he's uh, from France, 
and he's one of the core contributors of Baritpris. He was very excited about getting more beta testers. So that's super easy. You only need to install the beta version of Baritpris and to test it. You know, if you find a bug, go here to Slack or go to the track, open a ticket and, to say, and say, hey, this is not working in this version and I don't know, I'm upload a screenshot. And the more people we have with beta, you know, the more beta testers we, we have, the better and you know, the faster is the development or under release of the final version. So, and it's a very funny way because you only have to play with BuddyPress. You only need to install it, to play with it, to learn more about the new functionalities. You will be one of the first ones to see the new functionalities. And um, yep, yeah, I love it. <laughs> and just that, I think I was faster than John. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, do you have any questions or something that you would like to share with me about contribution, about BodyPress project? Or you prefer to have a break? <laughs> okay, so thank you very much.